Hey you guys, today I'm going to be going over what to do if your Snapchat isn't working. First and foremost, you're going to want to check to see if Snapchat is down, and there's a couple different ways to check this. So the first way is to go to a website called Down Detector, um, and you'll just go to Snapchat's website on Down Detector to see if Snapchat is down. You would simply open up your Safari um, or preferred browser and search Down Detector. You'll go up to the top right of the screen to the search bar, and you'll search Snapchat. And so now what it's telling me is that user reports indicate no current problems on Snapchat. Um, if, however, Snapchat was down, it would tell me here and it would let me know. And when you scroll down, it's gonna give you some more information. So um, these are gonna be Snapchat outages reported in the last 24 hours. You can see when they've spiked. You can also check what's called a live outage map. And you can see if the problem is restricted to certain areas or specific regions. The second option is to go to the official Snapchat support account um, on Twitter or X. And here it's going to give you updated news about Snapchat and if it's down, etc. So once you've checked both of those places to see if Snapchat is down and you found that it wasn't down, um, the next thing you're going to want to do is consider that it might be um, specific to your phone. So. The first thing we're going to do is close out or force quit Snapchat on our phone. Um, and to do this on the iPhone, you're just going to swipe up. And this is going to this is going to bring you to all of your pages where you can then swipe up again to minimize or force quit that Snapchat. Once you've um, force quit it, you're going to reopen it. Um, and hopefully everything's going to reset itself and it's it'll start working again for you. If this still doesn't work, the next thing you're going to want to try is logging out and then back in to your Snapchat. So to log out, if you never have before, you're going to launch your Snapchat. Go up to the top left corner to your icon, and then you're going to select the settings icon in the top right. You're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom, where you'll find that log out button here. Select it. If, like me, you've taken some recent Snapchat stories, your Snapchat's going to ask you to back up your photos just so that it stays up to date. Um, and you have the option to back up now or log out anyways. Once that backup is complete, I'm just gonna select that log out option. It's gonna log me out. And then all I have to do is select log back in. And if it has my password saved, I won't actually have to enter that password in. If logging out and back in still doesn't work, you're going to wanna uninstall the app and then re-download it. To uninstall the app, you're just going to press and hold. Um, until the drop down menu comes up and you're just going to select remove app and then you have a few options here you have the delete app remove from home screen or you can cancel um, and we want to delete the app completely out of our phone so we'll select delete it's going to ask us to confirm which we will and then we're just going to go back into our app store and re-download the app if deleting the app and re-downloading it does not fix the problem um, the next thing you're going to want to do is look for any updates for Snapchat. And if there are any updates, you'll want to update immediately. To look for updates, you're just going to launch your app store. You're going to select your profile icon in the top right corner. And then we're just going to scroll down to the upcoming automatic updates here. Um, and we can either scroll through and find the Snapchat app if there was an update. And then we would just click update to the right. Or we can select update all at the very top here and it's just going to automatically update all of the apps that are not up to date. While you're at it, you may as well check to see if your phone has any updates as well. Um, so if there was a system update, it could be affecting your Snapchat. Um, and to check for this update, you're just going to launch your settings. You're going to scroll down to general and we're going to select a software update here. Mine, my phone is currently up to date, but if it wasn't, there would be an updates waiting here for me. Um, I have my automatic updates on, but sometimes they don't automatically update. Um, so it is good to go in and check every once in a while if something isn't working. It could be that your phone is not up to date. The next thing you're going to want to do is restart your phone. So like I said before, it might not be an issue with the app itself, but with something um, with your phone. Um, so restarting it could just fix the problem for you. To restart your phone, you're going to press and hold the power button and the volume button at the same time uh, until that slide to power off comes up. Then you're just going to slide to the right. And then to turn it back on, you're just going to press and hold that power button again until the Apple logo pops up. 
this is going to reset everything in your phone um, and hopefully fix any of those problems you are having. The next thing you're going to do is make sure you have a stable Wi-Fi and or cell cellular connection. Uh, to do this, you're just going to launch your settings and we're going to go into Wi-Fi. So if I was connected to the Wi-Fi but it wasn't working for me, I could do one of two things. I could turn the Wi-Fi off and then turn it back on again. You want to wait about 15 to 20 seconds in between turning it off and on. The other thing I can do is forget the network. So beside the network, I would click that information. And instead of join this network, if I was connected to it, I would just select forget this network and it's going to get rid of it for me. And then it's going to pop up in the networks below here and I would just click on it and rejoin. If I was using cellular, I want to make sure that I have a stable cellular connection as well. So I'm going to go into my cellular here. Um, number one, I would turn this off and I would turn it back on again. I also want to go into my cellular data options and I want to make sure that my data roaming is on. Sometimes when this is turned off, um, my cellular won't work for certain apps. If that cellular data is on and the data roaming is on, the next thing you want to do is scroll down and make sure that it's your cellular data is turned on for that specific app. So we'll find Snapchat here and a green toggle, which means that if it was turned off, my cellular would not work for Snapchat. When I turn it on, it will work. Another thing you want to do is look through your Snapchat permissions and make sure the proper ones are turned on or enabled. Sometimes if certain permissions are turned off, it won't allow you to use the app properly. So we're going to launch our settings and we're going to scroll down through our apps until we find Snapchat. Once we find it, we're going to select it and under allow Snapchat to access, um, we're going to make sure that cellular data is on. We can go to Siri and search. The next thing you want to do is clear your cache on Snapchat. To do this, you're going to launch your Snapchat. You're going to open Snapchat, you're going to click on your icon in the top left, and then you're going to select the settings icon. We're going to scroll down to privacy controls here, um, and we're going to select the clear data option. And at the very bottom, we're going to find that clear cache option. It's just going to give me a little message kind of explaining what this is going to do. All of my caches are going to be cleared and Snapchat is going to restart. Uh, my memories won't be deleted. So if I'm sure I want to do this, I'm just going to confirm by selecting clear. And hopefully that should get your Snapchat back up and working as it should. If for some reason Snapchats aren't sending, there are a couple of things that you can do to fix this as well. So the first thing you'd want to do if your snaps aren't sending to a particular person um, is you want to clear your conversation with that person. To clear a specific conversation, you're going to go up to your icon in the top left and then you're going to select the settings icon in the top right. We're going to scroll down to privacy controls. We're going to select clear data and then we're going to select clear conversations. Um, and here is where we can go through and select specific conversations to delete. So like I said, if this was a specific friend that for some reason your Snapchats weren't sending to them, you would clear that conversation um, and then start the conversation over or try sending them a snap and hopefully that should reboot the problem. However, if this doesn't work, the next best thing to do would be to unadd that friend and then add them back in again. When you unadd them, it's going to automatically clear that conversation between you and restart or reset the settings in between you. To unadd somebody on Snapchat, um, you can either search their name with the search bar at the top or if it's somebody you Snapchat often, you'll find them on your front page here and you're just going to select their uh, name and then you're gonna select their name at the very top of the screen. Then we're gonna select the three dots in the top right corner and we will press manage friendship. And here is where we'll find the remove friend option. We'll remove that friend once they've been removed. To add them back, we'll go up to the little add a friend icon in the top right corner and then you would just simply search their um, username and you would just select add on the right hand side. Alrighty, you guys, that's it for today's video. I hope all of these methods were helpful for you, and I hope you got your Snapchat back up and working. Thanks so much for watching the video, and I will see you guys in the next one.